Hello, everybody. Mike from Southern California again, and you're on the mic. So today, folks, it's Wednesday, December the 4th, 2019. Um, here in Southern California, it's raining right now, coming down quite a bit. Um, a good thing, obviously. Um, on today's episode, as I mentioned yes in yesterday's episode of on the Mike Turner the Anime Convention Preview, I'll be talking about um, the hiring of Johnny Young Bosch to replace Vic Minyana or Minyana as the voice of Broly. Um, you know, I have some you know I've you know obviously you know um. Johnny's a good voice actor, you know, um, he's probably one of the most prolific voice actors, you know, around. A lot of people still feel that, you know, Vic will always be Broly to them. You know, Johnny's taking over the role. Vic did give his blessing um, to him. It's been pretty much rumored that they have been friends and, you know, Johnny has pretty much remained neutral throughout all of this. Or, well, he hasn't said anything too public, you know. Um, and of course, you know, um, I have my own, I have, I have another theory, you know, granted, Johnny's a very talented voice actor, so don't get me wrong here, but I feel like there is something that has to be kind of put out there just to kind of, you know, just kind of remind everybody just the type of people Funimation are. Okay, remember, Vic is still going through the appeals process. He's, the court, the case is still going on. So, I, you know, Johnny's a good voice. And I you know a lot of people are happy. And, you, know, he, you know, if anybody could replace Vic as Broly, he's probably the one that most people would want to see. You know, and he came out. He was very gracious. He was, you know, Vic was very gracious about it. You know disappointed that he couldn't continue the role but still is very gracious you know Johnny and Vic have been shown to still be good friends in all this um however here's one of the things that I'm somewhat I you know would pick up on and we know with cancel culture the way it's driving right now and we already know we've already seen it come out against Johnny here a little bit from you know people like L. J. Montello and Mr. Dornov who who has since you know deleted his Twitter account. Um, he got ratioed pretty bad for trying to stir the pot, but and I know some of you might think I'm trying to stir the pot here, but it's something that does have to be acknowledged and thought about, and that is. You know, there is a possibility Funimation hired Johnny to try to drive a wedge between him and Vic. You know, depending upon how this court case, how the court case continues and, and if Vic does win. Now, personally, I do believe the facts are on Vic's side. He will win his appeal. Okay. But in, in a, a certain way, I do believe there are those at Funimation who are in power who might try to use this as a way to drive a wedge between Johnny and Vic. I even kind of posted the question, albeit Johnny did not answer me on Twitter. I posted the question after he said, you know, after a tweet he made about not, you know, about not dealing with BS or whatever. Um, I asked him. He hasn't responded as of yet, but others have. Um, you know, um, well, what what would happen if Funimation threat? You know, I asked I asked Johnny this. What would happen if Funimation threatened to fire you? Because you you wouldn't you wouldn't denounce Vic. What would you do then? Because I do think that it is in people. There's some people who have said, "Well, no, cancel culture is not that big. It's not, not that big." You know, 
John Johnny's a good guy. Well, Vic was a good guy too. Okay. You know, that's a problem with cancel culture is that they'll not they, they seek to they don't just seek to just get rid of you. They want to ultimately burn you down. They want to leave nothing but ash in their wake. And I don't mean the Pokemon character. Okay. Um and Johnny has started to get hit with some of this too. Um, as I said, L.J. Montello. This is L.J. Montello just providing the first barrage, but I'm sure it'll come even more and more. Um, yeah, I think we'll see more and more of it coming as time goes on. The, fir the more this, the more that the court case goes on, the more they'll start attacking Johnny. My my thing is, at some point, Funimation may try to put pressure on him to denounce Vic. And then, you know, they may threaten to fire him, you know. Because basically at this point, I think we've, we've all seen this year how corrupt Funimation is. Particularly that little cadre of individuals that we've been talking about a lot this year. You know, that corrupt cadre of, you know, of VAs and their associates in the cosplay and social media community as well. People say, well, now that, you know, once they're done with Vic, they'll just move on. You know, they thought they would have, they thought they would have Vic dead and buried by this point. They didn't expect him to fight back. Now, I'm glad to see that Johnny is fighting back. And not, you know, not even giving them an, a chance to tarnish his name. He needs to continue that string. He needs to show that string, not just with people like L.J. Montel, but he needs to show that string with Funimation. He needs to show that strength against like people like Sabbat, like Rial. He needs to tell them straight out, hey, you're not going to do to me what you did to Vic. Don't even try it. Cancel culture needs to be nipped in the butt sooner rather than later. So, with that being said, I'm I'm happy for Johnny. You know, getting getting a role, um, getting the role. You know, Johnny, I think is somebody that everybody would you know would more or less be happy with. If, if anybody had to be replaced. If anybody had, if anybody had to fill that role, and it's going to be a tough role because he's just dealing with the first barrage right now. He's going to probably get more of this over the next few months. Mark my word. It's, I think Johnny's going to be getting hit with this quite a bit. So, you know, some people will. I mean, I think he's handling it correctly and just saying, "Okay, well, where's your proof? Let's see the proof." Now, somebody argued, well, yeah, they had to get rid of Vic because they you know, were losing money, but they won't lose money with Johnny. Uh, not entirely true because they might if Johnny doesn't denounce Vic. If Johnny continues to support Vic, he needs to be his friend. And you have people like L.J. Montello coming out and attacking him, trying to damage it, then people might start, you know, um... Also, you know, even if they don't, they could be using it to try to get some of their subs back. They figured, well, Johnny's a good guy, so maybe Funimation isn't um, that corrupt. And Grant, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that the entirety of, but there are some good voice actors and actresses and, and directors there who are good people who are not involved in this. But there's this small little cadre of individuals who is mucking everything else up for every for everybody else so just keep that in mind people just you know just keep that in mind and yes i know that johnny's already done work for he's already been doing work for um for funimation we know he's zora estrade in black clover right now he's i think he was um 
Yuki Mura Sanada in the Sengoku Basara um Basura um dub that they did. So, you know, he it's not like he's just somebody being brought in from you know, yeah, he's outside the Funimation clique. But um but, you know, Just, I just think people should be aware of that possibility that Funimation, aside from Johnny being a very popular voice, you know, voice actor and talent, and being multi-talented just like Vic is, that um, they may have hired him on as well to try to put a wedge between him and Vic and try to try to, you know, eliminate one of his, one of Vic's supports. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Anyways, enough said there. Let me let me move on to some other other stuff as I've been doing of late. It's now time to look at this day in history, December fourth. So on this date in 1979, Marvel released the first edition of what would what would eventually become Conan the King. It was released as King Conan. King Conan um, issue one came out on this date in on December fourth, nineteen seventy nine. Um, it would eventually become. It started out as a as a quarterly title, which meant it came out like basically every three months or four times a year. Then eventually became a, a bi monthly title, which means it comes out every other month. Um, so on this date in 19, also on this date in 1979, aside from that, from the comics, well, in the world of professional wrestling, uh, in the Mid-South region, you know, for Mid-South Wrestling um, Association, Bill Watts would win the Mid-South North American title from Mike George in Shreveport on this date in 1979. Um, so... That would also happen in the world of professional wrestling. Um, and then on this date in 2001, um, Shingu, Secret of the Stellar Wars, the, the anime Shingu, Secret of the Stellar would finish its initial Japanese run on NHK on this date in 2001. So um, started in May of that, May 8th of that year and finished its run on this date in 2001. So, with all that being said, with all that being said, um, let's see, you can check, if you, you know, you can check the links below. My Twitter handle will be down there if you should want to contact me directly. You can always direct message me or comment on my tweets or comment on the videos. Um, also, um, I'm promoting a bunch of different dub companies out there. Because always remember, guys, Funimation is not the only game in town. There are other companies out there. You know, Johnny, of course, is out from out here in L.A. Um and other voice actors and actresses who, who who do appreciate their fans and will appreciate your your fanfare far better than some of these some of these individuals at Funimation. Um, these dub companies as well would love to have your business and have you supporting them and getting their BAs invited to cons. Rem remember, people, the if you want to if you want to meet a, a particular voice actor or actress, best way to do it is to you know, contact your local conventions and get them invited to, get them invited to, you know, the, the, your local cons. Um, and I, I'm also still promoting the GoFundMe's for, um, for the Ortiz family and for, you know, Vic's GoFundMe. Um, on the Ortiz um, family one, um, they had a they have a set goal of five thousand dollars. They they're at four thousand five hundred ninety five dollars right now. Um, you know, the, right now construction is going on for their for their house. 
they've now moved into um, a rental rental home for the time being while while the while their neighborhood is being like re remodeled. Um, so you know, and also you know, Vic, you know, you guys know that Vic is appealing as well. He's appealing the final ruling in the TCPA hearing. Um, as always, guys. As always, don't feel like you have to donate. I'm sure they appreciate it, but not if it means you go bankrupt. Um, if you have the means to, and it's on your heart to do so, please consider donating. If um, if you've already donated, please consider donating again. And if you cannot donate, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. Sharing is caring, after all. You know, maybe you yourself can't, can't, you know, donate, you know, maybe you don't have the means to donate, but maybe there's somebody in your circle of friends who might see this and say, yeah, this guy's getting the, the cheap end of the stick here. I want, you know, you know, I, if, if I can help, I want to help too. You know, you never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. And with that, guys, if you like this content, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I always look forward to the conversations with you guys. I know sometimes you may not always agree with me, but as long as we can civilly and respectfully disagree, and at times it's best to just agree to disagree and not like really continue banging each other over the head. Because, you know, it's not really that great of an argument if you just bang your head against walls and, you know, you know you're not going to change a person's mind, and yet you continue trying to do so. But, you know, um, so with that, until tomorrow, bye.